Okay, here's problem number two. Mackenzie sells textbooks. She received 7% on her first $1,000 in sales and 15% on the balance of her sales. If her sales in one month were $20,000, what is her commission? Well, we just break it down. Um, so she's going to receive 7%, which is 0 .07, times the first $1,000, plus 15% on the balance of her sale. Well, the balance of her sale is just $20,000 minus $1,000, which is $19,000, essentially. So we're going to receive 15% on the $19,000. And we just do the calculations. And then we just add these, um, which will get 29.20. And that's how much commission um, McKenzie will make on selling her textbooks. Okay, here's the next problem. Uh, in 2005, Lee began working on a, as a nurse, um, an anesthesiast, with a taxable income of 145000 Medicare tax was 1.45%, Social Security tax rate was 6.2%, to the maximum income of 90000 that year. How much did Lee pay in FICA taxes in 2005? Well, essentially, we're going to first um, figure out the Medicare tax because there's no max on that one. Um, so we're going to... And I'm just going to write it all out. I'm going to go 145,000 times 0 0.0145 plus, I'll write it down here, and then now we got 6.2% of the maximum amount because 145,000 is over the max, so it's going to be 0 0.062 times 90,000. And then once you find those, you just add them up, you're done. That's it. Let's do the math. And there's the rest of it. If you multiply those values out, that's what you're going to get. So the tax for 2005 was $7,682.50. Let's try another problem. Okay, next problem. Um, here we have Miguel. Miguel, I think that's Miguel. Um, pays $47 semi-monthly for health insurance, which is 15% of the total cost. His employer pays the rest. What is the total cost to the nearest dollar of Miguel's health insurance? Um, essentially, we know that $47 is 15% of some larger number. Let's call that X. And essentially, here you have to solve for X to find the, the total cost of the health insurance. Um, so I'm going to divide both sides by 0.15. And that'll give me the total cost. So x is equal to 47 divided by 0.15, and I get 313 dollars and 33 cents per whatever period of time this is. And this is semi-monthly. Um, it says, what is the total cost to the nearest dollar of Miguel's health insurance? So this does represent the total cost. If I needed to find the employer's part, I would take 313.33 and subtract $47. And that would give me the employer's part. But I need to find the total, which is 313.33. And to find the total for the year, which is what we're essentially looking for, I'm going to take 313.33. Multiply by the number of semi-monthly periods in the year, which happens to be 24, and we get. And when you multiply it out, you get $7,519.92. And that's it for that problem.